Hi, and welcome to Comsky Corner. Today we're going to be talking about the CPU, or the Central Processing Unit. This video is specifically for the new OCR GCSE Computer Science course. However, it's applicable for most exam boards. The picture on the bottom of the screen shows what a CPU generally looks like. The central processing unit is basically the brain of the computer in the way that it controls everything that happens inside the computer. It is made from billions of transistors and these are electrical switches that form logic gates to process instructions. A modern processor like this might work at 4 GHz, which is 4 billion instructions processed per second. So the purpose of the CPU is to perform the arithmetic and logistical operations of the CPU, which it does using the ALU, control the movement of data and instructions around the CPU, fetch data and instructions from memory, and then to decode and execute the program instructions. The diagram I'm showing you here shows a computer, with the pink box being the CPU. This is the typical setup of a computer, and is known as the von Neumann architecture. The main parts of the CPU are shown here, and I'm going to be talking you through the roles of each of them. Firstly, we have the control unit. This controls the flow of data inside the CPU. It sends out control signals to other parts of the CPU, executes program instructions with the fetch decode execute cycle, and is made of two parts, the clock and the decoder. Next, we have the ALU, or the arithmetic logic unit. This performs all the arithmetic and logistical operations of the CPU, including comparisons, Boolean operations such as AND, OR, and NOT, and other operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Lastly, we have registers. These are tiny amounts of super quick memory and are memory locations. They store tiny bits of data needed by the CPU. Registers are really quick to read and write to, and there are many different types. So now let's look at this in a bit more detail. There are five main registers that you need to know about, and they are shown here. Firstly, we have the MAR, or the Memory Address Register. This stores the location for data to be fetched from, or sent to, meaning stored in, memory. Next, there's the MDR, or the Memory Data Register. This stores data that has been fetched from, or is about to be sent to and stored in memory. The PC, or program counter, holds the memory location address of the next instruction for the next cycle to be performed by the CPU. It is unlikely that you will ever be asked to recall the exact definition of what a CIR is. However, it may be useful to have a vague idea of its definition in case it comes up in a question. So, the CIR stores the next, which is the most recently fetched, instruction ready to be decoded. The last register that we are going to discuss is the accumulator, and this stores the results of the calculations performed by the ALU. Now that you know the main parts that make up the CPU, we will look at how they all work together to fetch, decode, and execute program instructions. This is known as the fetch, decode, execute cycle, or the fetch, execute cycle as written here. Firstly, within the fetch part of the cycle, the memory address from where the data and instruction is held is copied from the PC to the MAR. The CU then fetches the data or instructions from the location stored in the MAR. And if it is data, it is placed in the MDR, and if it is an instruction, in the CIR. The PC is then incremented by 1 to point to the address of the next instruction for the next cycle. The next stage of the cycle is the decode stage. The data or instructions are decoded by the control unit. After, the control unit loads the data into the MAR or the MDR for the next cycle. Lastly, we have the execute stage. This is where the instruction is performed. This diagram simply shows the fetch execute cycle. We can easily see that registers are used to fetch data and instructions, and that the control unit deals with decoding of instructions. We can also see that the ALU is sometimes used in part of the execution. In this video, we've looked at the definition, purpose, and common components of the CPU. We've also looked at how these components work together to process program instructions using the fetch execute cycle. So if you've enjoyed this video, then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more computer science related videos. See you next time. Bye!